Welcome back to Trap Tales. So, the Aquarian or Exploring World and basically don't like the USSS. What's your USSS? Like, what the crap, man? I'll attack you back. Oh, crap. Ah. So, they keep exploring. And they'll figure out just, hey, let's get some fish as well. We're on the Gold Federation. They discovered that they don't like each other, so they're gonna stay out of the, of the, of, of the war. If I can talk. So, they were actually getting really rich. Because of that richness, they built a wall. Yay. Yeah. So, email in, email in suburbia. Just say that with the crap is his length. Hey! Oh, these idiots, the Aquarian people. Wow. Nubs. They ex they research sailing. Excellent. Trade Empire. Like, hey, why, why have you done this? That's very mean. Just militarization, then. We'll rule the desert. I'm gonna do Archer's Empire. Eh. We're still making their home species go extinct. They just said they decided to snipe one of the soldiers because why not? Now for the socialists. They're marching on their city. But not exactly winning. Uh, and the Boompalaka tribe. They were not very pleased that the uh, ideology of the blue stripe has attacked them. Not pleased. So, the ideology of the blue stripe is headed. You know what? We'll just. They're getting really mad, that's what they are. Republic of Aquarian Peoples. They're barely defending themselves. But they won't have a sail. So. They're keeping to themselves. The USSS is. They're like, hey, who freaking sniped us? Oh, those guys. This may start a war between these two. They turn, so they learn how to climb because those mountains are really, really flat. So they continue to learn that they have a really good chance for industrialization. So this is exactly what they're going to do. You know, in Siberia, they learn how to climb. And they have a new city which doubled their nation's size. Trade Empire. They're just very mad at the moment. F fine, we'll just. Wah! Ow! The Usher's Empire. They're getting mad that they attack back, even though that's idiotic if they think. If they thought they were not gonna attack back. So their species has gone extinct. But hey, we saved the city wall. The Hungarian Union is uh, having some trouble. Trade Empire. They're getting beat up, kind of. The Bupalaka tribe, they're just chilling, but also they're marching on the lands of the ideology of the Blue Stripe. But their city just became extremely rich. And because of their such religious beliefs, one of their gods came to life from a statue. And because of, they gave a gift to them, which is a giant park. 
So, the ideology was trapped was like, what is this nonsense? How did you idiots get that? But they just wanted to have their chili soup. I look at the Aquarian peoples, is still kind of, you know, triggered about the communist samurai, but... But they take advantage of their fish. Made themselves kind of rich. The USSS is still mad at them. And then getting really mad at the Archer Empire. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder how that will go for them. That guy's not gonna, not gonna you know, die anytime soon. Gold Federation! Well, since they learned how to climb, they're like, let's, let's go explore the land and, you know, see what's out there. So they're not really intent on destroying anybody. They're just. They just want to explore. That's what they want. Suburbia! <laughs> right. Okay, what are these idiots doing? Doesn't seem. Hmm. They're suspicious. So they will just go over there for now. So let's explore and see what's out there. Because everyone kind of wants to do that. Except the Trade Empire, which they, they're they right next to the enemy, so this war will probably go on forever. Neither of them realize that yet. But they learn how to climb, which, think, which they think they'll have an advantage, but it's not really an advantage. The Archer's Empire! They will still just attack the coming samurais. So then they learn the Hey look, we can actually do this. They don't realize how many resources they're taking up. And discovered hey, we can like use this soft land to farm. Hey, let's do that. It sounds awesome. But they don't have much of it. Now for the uh Rangarians. They're still really mad about them, so they can't really do anything else. But the Mubalaki tribe is still very uh Prosperous. Yeah, but they're really mad. <laughs> but, like, hey, wait till they see our god and our gift of draft riding. So, the ideology of the blue stripe is very mad at the moment. Leave us alone! Ah, we've penetrated your lands. Now what are you gonna do? Ha 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 They feel evil, but it's not really that evil. Public of Aquarian Peoples is triggered at the moment. Get off our freaking land, you idiots! This is ours! <clears throat> they're Naziist ways, even though they're basically worse than Nazis, but whatever. I'll make a video on it! <laughs> I mean, samurais, they're still just, well, they're kind of tired of their fellow warriors getting destroyed, so they propose peace. Let's see how they react. The Confederation is uh, still exploring their nice little world. Just, hey, seriously, what's out there, you know? Then they discovered the suburbians and learned how to industrialize. Kind of. I don't know what the ancient ruins. Okay, what's, what's there? Once they actually got a taste for the uh, industrialization, they just got really. Hey, you know, we can just give this up all the time. And now the suburbians just got notified that they've been attacked. So, they attack back, as the patriotic suburbians would do. And 
I'm gonna save up their money for a report because they just want to explore. That's all they want to do. But the Aquarians, they just have not to. What for the trade empire? Their war is doing well for them, as they have the uh, population advantage. But they can't move around a whole lot. So let's see how they act. Peace. We accept your peace deal. But we have to have you with... Well... Hmm. But you have to have no militarization on our borders. Uh... Okay, as long as we just, you know, don't get attacked anymore. Aha, uh -huh, thanks. So they're happy about that. The going union is just really, really mad. Hey, you know what? This war is really stupid, okay? It's really stupid. So how about we just have a little peace deal? Eh? You can like, teach us your ways. So... Let's see how the, uh, Trade Empire reacts. Reacts. Group of Lucky Tribe is, you know, mad at them now. As they have killed their warriors. Let's introduce our god to them! Haha! <laughs> so let's see how the ideology of the British type reacts. What is that monster? Ah! Run away! They don't like it. They built a city wall just to protect themselves. So they offered peace. This okay, let's please don't hurt us anymore. The Aquarian are quite upset. That they have stepped one inch in their lands. <laughs> well, for the uh, communists, they are doing well. So they have accepted the peace deal. They're like, finally, yay! They're quite happy about that, though. So, and learn how to sail. But they don't have enough money for it. But, <clears throat> they're like, hey, you know what? Those guys actually could attack them, and it were right next to the freaking Nazis. So, let's build a couple defenses. Giant city wall of stone. Well, for the Gold Federation, they are still exploring. Hey, you guys are actually pretty awesome. Let's like have a trade deal. Okay, thanks. Yeah, let's do this. So they figured out what they're in this ruins. They learned how that peace is actually a pretty good way to go. It was not put there by the ideology of Blue Shepherd all, but they expanded their borders to have an extremely large country now. So, they're just getting lots of militarization, though. For the suburbians, they have finally learned how to sail. But they're still kind of mad about how the Aquarians just, you know, killing their people. But their country is huge now, so, yay to them. <clears throat> they trust these guys so much that they're leaving their capital open. Anybody to take. But let's see how the trade empire reacts to the peace deal. So, basically, uh, you want peace? Okay, fine, but you have to change your stupid social ideology. Let's see how the vendors react to that. Trade empire still going well. If they continue to explore their lands, like, what is this black tar? Substance. But they're really smart now. But only certain people know how to actually construct things. Just sad, but. Okay. So let's see how they react to the beast deal. <clears throat> Let's if we can change our ideologies. No way! We will not do this. <clears throat> 
didn't take it lately. But they finally learned how to farm, so not starving anymore. So the Boomba Lucky Trap is like, okay, with well, the queer piece, but we have to be, you know, slightly more powerful than you because physics. Yeah, the LG Boo Chef accepts. As they just don't want to die. But another god has appeared for them. That's how freaking religious they are. Yeah, the LG Boo Chef is like, okay, but. Uh. Let's learn this skill. Just, just, just please get away from us. Eh. So that basically you can find it on borders. Because the Queen and Peoples is uh, still pretty triggered. But they have met the Boombalaki tribe and don't like them as usual. But the Aquarian have a. Uh... <clears throat> they have some ambitions to take that city. USSS still <clears throat> no changes keep themselves away from the uh, Aquarians. Like, okay, let's fake a meet, okay? We're getting kind of tired of this no border thing because we're faking paranoid as crap. But uh, let's just try to have negotiations with them. Here we are on the Gold Federation. We continue to explore the world. Hmm, the capital is speaking open. Nope, we're not gonna take it because we're actual friendly people. But with industrialization, they got the monies. Very suburban, but yay, we can finally, you know. Ow, Aquarian, why do you do this? But time, they just decide to explore more. It's still leaving their capital wide open. Well, I'm trading empire. How dare you freaking attack us! Err. Die. Die. Ow. Realize it is basically on your own continent. But they're getting super rich now. But they're... Oh, they're back. Hmm. There's no meat. There's barely any meat. And it tastes awful. Let's become vegetarians because... Well, these farm animals, you know, they're really limited, and their meat tastes awful. So the trade empires are vegetarian now. And the electricity empire. They heard about the future uh, negotiations, and like, you know what? No, no, we're we'll gonna attack you, because Manhattan. No, we just no. Step away from our borders. Hungarian Union is a uh, <clears throat> triggered about this, but it's just what's more, Sean. It's the Bupalaki tribe is still doing quite well. Like, whoa! What the heck is happening right there? Oh, you guys, I don't know. But they learned how to sail. So that's nice. Hey, go for the version. How you doing, me? Oh, we're doing nice. Good. They like the gold for the version. Let's have our giant step away from your borders. We don't want to offend you, any of you. So. You know, the all the all the the blue stripe. It's okay. They have a secret plan. They're just gonna sail away. Because they just wanna have their own colonies somewhere around in there. So, yeah. 
This episode is extremely long, sorry. <clears throat> but... Will the Aquarians actually take the city? Or will they not? Find out in the next episode of Tribe Tales.